mountains because he was the son of his old age and he made him a varied colored tunic. A very, in other words, the King James says a coat with many colors. Just think about almost uh, 2,800 years ago, somebody makes you a coat that has many colors. First off, fabrics were hard to find. And second, to get dye and colors was a major expense. And he had 11 sons. And he made him this very expensive coat. You think of it this way. It would be like if you gave your favorite child a BMW and then you gave the other 10 bus passes. <laughs> His brothers got mad. And they sold their brother into slavery. Sometimes children respond with negative behavior because that's the only way they can get our attention. And the only time we notice them is when they do something wrong. You're always doing something, you old knucklehead. You're going to be just like your daddy. You're going to be just like your mama. In his book, The Struggling Adolescence, Les Perot the Third listed several types of parents. They're these perfectionist parents. Nothing their kid do is ever enough. Hence, the kid suffers from inadequacy. Then there are these rejecting parents, the most damaging kind of parent because they push their kids away. And they direct their anger and hostility at them in violent and physical ways. They just reject them. Then there are the overprotective parents you can't let go and you can't let them grow up. You know, I always say to people, you know, let your kid grow up. Because as many as they turn 18, they gone. Because you, you, you smothered them. Then there are the overindulgent parents who simply give their children everything their hearts desire. Then there are the over-permissive parents who just have no rules. Ride through the community, and you'll see kids walking around the streets at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and at 12, 13 years old on Friday night. Hey, what you doing out this time of night? Or what you doing up watching the news at 8 and you're 8 years old, and it's 11.30, and you're sitting up watching the news. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting my report together for tomorrow. <laughs> we got to learn how to encourage our kids because a lot of them face an uphill battle just trying to survive each day in middle school, let alone just trying to graduate from high school. And I want to encourage you parents to instill in your children Christian values and morals. You know, and, and, and one of the things that the church can do is that the church can help you to train your children by getting them to, to become involved in youth ministry and children's ministry activities. Don't get so busy and distracted with your own stuff that you forget that they need you to be with them and to be for them. Children need to feel love, and one of the ways we do that is by recognizing their accomplishments and not taking that for granted. A little encouragement at the right moment can turn a struggling student into an honor graduate. Sometimes a little praise can lift the help, it's the self-esteem of a struggling kid to new heights. Instead of hounding our children about their mistakes and their poor decisions, we need to try to affirm them and remind them that God has great things in store for them. Let them know that they were born not to be the tail, but to be the head. Let them know that they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them, that God has a plan for their life. To encourage them and, and exhort them to go on and to do well. You know, every kid is not going to be an honor graduate in college. And sometimes you've got to recognize that. Uh, and, and just kind of let them be, you know, encourage them to be the best them they can be without them wanting to be a little you. You, you know, 